electrolytic refining is the last step of the process of metallurgy we have already discussed first two steps first step was the concentration of the ore in which ore is separated from the gang the second step was extraction of metal from the ore now the metal that has been extracted still has some impurities left inside it so it needs to be purified in the process of electrolytic refining it is purified by the process of electrolysis and we know that for electrolysis process we need an apparatus which is called as voltmeter and a voltmeter consists of a container two electrodes an electrolyte a battery and a switch for the purpose of refining the three things that is electrolyte anode and cathode should be of the same material that is being refined as we are refining copper here so our electrolyte will be copper sulfate solution as a node we have taken impure copper while our cathode is of pure copper now let's see this figure this is a node and it is made up of a thick rod of impure copper you can see here it is thick while as cathode we have taken this thin plate which is made up of pure copper as an electrolyte we have taken copper sulfate solution which has been acidified now acidified means we have added a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid here it increases the conductivity of the electrolyte so as we switch it on we see that cations and anions will start moving cations here are copper ions and anions are the sulfate ions and we know that cations move towards cathode so our copper ions will start moving towards cathode which is a negative electrode means it has plenty of electrons so when copper ions reach the cathode they gain electrons from cathode they become neutral and deposit themselves on the cathode only so we'll see that copper will deposit at cathode then more copper ions will come they will become neutral and get deposited on the cathode but this will create imbalance in the electrolyte for the reason that copper ions are coming out of the electrolyte and getting deposited on the cathode while sulfate ions are left there so there is imbalance now to recreate the equilibrium here there is some activity at the anode now we know that anode is made, made up of impure copper atoms so at anode copper atoms lose their electrons become copper ions and they enter into the solution so i repeat at anode copper atoms lose the electrons change into copper ions and these copper ions then enter into the solution the process now goes like this from the anode copper changes into copper ions and these copper ions enter into the solution then from the solution these copper ions move towards the cathode and they get deposited on the cathode so the process continues and copper keep on depositing over the cathode but now what is happening to the impurity which was present on the anode now there can be two type of impurities one which are soluble and others which are insoluble the soluble impurity with copper can be that of iron so iron will come out of the anode it will dissolve in the electrolyte in the form of iron sulfate but the insoluble impurity will come out of the anode and it will settle down at the bottom of the anode in the form of anode mud now here it is interesting to know that the impurities present with copper are of silver or gold so these impurities are also quite precious here so now we see what is happening that from anode copper is moving towards cathode getting deposited on cathode impurities are moving out getting deposited at the bottom of the anode in the form of anode mud so after a while we will observe that anode has become thinner while cathode has become thicker for the obvious reasons that copper from anode has moved towards the cathode this is how we obtain the pure form of copper and the process is called as electrolytic refining now this process we will see in the form of ionic equation now what is happening at cathode from the solution copper ions are moving towards the cathode they gain two electrons from there and change into neutral copper atoms and these copper atoms get deposited on the cathode and at anode 
copper atoms are losing the electrons changing into copper ions and these copper ions then enter into the solution so this is how electrolytic refining is done so with this we have completed all the three steps of the process of metallurgy thank you